the very long oozes, gets crucified by the villains, has to say goodbye to Greninja, yeah, and that's in the span of about maybe two weeks. Hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd take a break. Hey, yeah. Oh, gosh, just whatever my with the early years, there's definitely something odd about this. Oh, yeah, it's it, a lot of it is the like 90s gag anime in the best and worst ways. Yeah, a lot of it has aged like, uh, like mad. Moo moo milk. Yeah, moo moo milk. It's like so many like cheesy puns. It's like everywhere. At this show became an international phenomenon. Mm. God, how many more episodes is this? Like, 500 billion? Over 1,000 episodes of Pokemon. Yeah. And we are still in the thick of the, the rough years. Yeah. Really, we should be appreciating this because they're still, they haven't settled into a formula yet, so it's not like we're going to be. I mean, they're already, shoot, yeah, what am I trying to say? We should be grateful that we're still in the wacky episodes before they knew what to repeat ad nauseum. I suppose so. Uh... Once they find that formula, they're not going to let go for a while. <laughs> yeah, uh. Did you ever end up, like, stop, like, um, taking a break from the series because of fatigue? TV provider lost around early 2009, so I kind of had to. Oh, right, right. I remember you saying this, actually, yeah. And when I came back, I was just, I think I was ready to take a break. Mm. So, yes, Diamond and Pearl was the unfortunate sacrificial lamb in that case. Yeah, how much you've done back in uh, about this? Yeah. Three apes of it, I guess. Hmm. I remember seeing most of Diamond and Pearl, but yeah. So the first season, and then majority of the battle dimension and then after that's really sporadic isn't there like a movie or something where they they go inside a pokeball or, or whatever oh hmm. at least not that i know of okay i'm probably thinking of something else then it was a there was supposed to be a movie that dealt with the gs ball remember that plot point that went nowhere um <laughs> yeah the the gs ball was supposed to actually contain a celebi Hmm. No, that actually wasn't a movie. That was part of the show proper. That's the GS ball was supposed to be, was supposed to be holding a Celebi, but then it seems like the writers of the show got reports, got word up from the game, the Pokemon company, that Celebi would be the focus of a movie instead. It was mm. a fan of the platform, the show itself, so Jodo's just kind of aimless for a while. Yeah. <sighs> oh, gosh. I, I don't know why. I'm kinda of, I'm kinda of dreading Jono for some reason. <laughs> Good. I I'm interested in in like revisiting some of these because I don't remember Indigo or Johto that well besides like I guess like the beginning and like very specific scenes, I suppose. Um I don't. Re I think I remember even less from, uh, the Hoenn stuff. Like, I think, Diamond and Pearl is really the ma like the one I, have the most memories with, um. And I, I, I don't know. Oh gosh, Cartoon Network ran through like all of Kanto and like half of the Orange Islands for like a year and a half five nights a week, so I'm overly familiar with a lot of the Kanto episodes. 
Mm -hmm. seen pretty much every Kanto episode like at least twice through Cartoon Network in the early 2000s. Yeah. And I and I loved it. <laughs> I, I, I again I try I tried what well, at one point going through the whole series and uh, I just kind of I don't know why but I just kind of gave up really quickly. And uh for whatever reason, I decided to give it a second go with this. And though uh, we still got a long ways to go. What was that episode? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <gasps> so, what is with these, like, lessons? Like, what are they trying to teach kids? So they wanted to, I don't know, the actual lesson of the episode was alright, just, mm. everyone's just comically mean-spirited. Yeah. It's like the last episode is just like, oh, if you're, if you're like, abusing your Pokemon to make them uh, better at fighting, it's fine. It's just your way of doing it. There's nothing wrong with that. It's like, um, Okay. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think you should be teaching kids that, but sure. Have you, what have you, uh, have you seen any of, uh, like, black and, the black and white series? Like, how is, how is that? Because that's the series that I, I ended up just, that made me kind of just drop it, because, um, I think at that point I just started to get tired, and, uh, didn't really see much of that one. That's basically where I jumped back in. Okay. I like Bianca. It was, um... Hmm? I like Bianca, but that's about all I can say. And, uh, yeah, uh, I actually jumped back in through that. It was, it was fresh enough to kind of shake off some of the malaise the show was going through at that point. Mm. As much as I missed him was, I was happily, I was happy to see him retire. Mm. <laughs> they had just yeah. kind of worn him, they had worn him out by Diamond and Pearl. I suppose so. It, it did... <laughs> It, it felt kind of like, I mean, Brock being there just felt, it's like, you get so used to it that it's like, when he's not there now, it's just, it feels weird. I can see what you mean, though. Oh, uh, yeah, it, if I were, uh, I caught a few episodes black and white through the um through the twitch marathon i mean i probably wound up seeing the worst ones but uh, mm. i'll i'll hold in some fond regard for at least kind of refreshing of the show after a while black yeah black and white uh, for multiple reasons is probably the one i'm most curious about because of how like uh, I, from what I understand, it's not, it doesn't seem to be looked on f that fondly by a lot of people, so I'm kind of, oh. yeah, so I'm kind of interested in how, uh, things go with that, because I, I, I remember, I don't even know if I've seen a full episode, but I remember one time when it was still airing, uh, and I had a friend over, and we saw Pokemon was on, so we, so we just, uh, decided to check, check it out. And, um, we had no idea who, besides Ash, obviously, we had no idea who any of the characters were. So we were just, like, really confused on what, what was happening or, like, who anyone was. And it was just like, yeah, I think, I think I'm done with this. Uh, let's see. Probably wasn't... Basically... No, I was going to say, it probably wasn't the best idea for us to just randomly chop, like, in the middle of an episode. 
black and white for better and for worse wants to kind of recreate the the canto feel hmm. so back to a more naive personality after he'd been kind of mellowed out in, in advanced generation and diamond and pearl especially yeah uh, he's traveling with two gym leaders again Hmm. They'll, they they are basically Misty and Brock's replacements. Yeah, pretty much. For Stan Best ways. <laughs> uh, Team Rocket thankfully does not appear in every episode, starting there again. So. Oh, when do they stop appearing in every episode? Second, third episode of Black and White. Oh, okay. So, effectively, a lot of stuff we praise the current anime seasons for probably had, had the start here in Black and White. Okay, well, it has to, I suppose, then. Yes, I see it as, like, a dry run for X and Y, basically. Yeah. There's no Wubba Fett, though. Like, uh -oh. they really did commit to the whole no old Pokemon thing, except for Pikachu and Meowth. Hmm. Yeah, gotta have those Ash. days then. Ash, get back, like, late into the series. Yeah, it's interesting how Black and White was, uh, like, really adamant. Like, the main the main games, as far as I'm aware, like, uh, they don't... You, they don't really use old Pokemon at all. It's, like, pretty much all new stuff until you get to post-game, isn't it? game and then the sequels indulge themselves a bit more okay yep and now everyone's like oh black and white was the weight of, of all the franchise they didn't pander to nostalgia <laughs> yeah i wish you had all been like that in 2011 <laughs> yeah now look where we are oh gosh pokemon fairies doesn't know what it wants Not never really. does no it's a complete never mess. does it's a complete mess you know, it's ironic. I find I'm happier just watching the anime these days and following the games. Yeah, I don't. Just, I can understand that. It's like when uh, when you're uh, I don't like using this term because it just just because of the bat, uh, negative nature of it. But if you can rival uh, the so the Sonic fan base in terms of just sheer toxicity. Uh, then you'll you've done something severely wrong. <sighs> like good lord, some of the stuff I've heard. Yeah. Oh well. I did, I enjoyed it. I I enjoyed that little short film you made, by the way. Thank you. How long did that take to make? Longer than I'd like to admit. <laughs> I like the part where it's just like uh, there's supposed to be a fight scene, but we don't have a budget. I just when you are uh, on a time crunch to get something turned in before a deadline you just yeah improvise <laughs> i mean it worked for what it for what that's worth it's amusing thank you it was fun to film mm. i like the uh, the um, the, was it the, did you always, like, pl uh, plan for the end to be, like, kind of a blue ball? It, yes, it was, it was always supposed to just, you just leave it to your imagination. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. So, so they, 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 <laughs> they really are just watching uh, Eggman and uh, Wario dance with, with no clothes on. Be, be. <laughs> oh man. 
So how about that Smash Bros, eh? <laughs> Is it like 5 o'clock? No, 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 I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Uh... I left tomorrow for you, but tomorrow for me. No, today for me also. Uh, yeah. How about that fire emblem? Oh, yeah. Um, so I mean, I'm, I'm interested in the classic mode because of how, like, Sakai was just like, oh, it's just a, it's just Master Hand again, but something amusing might happen. But, uh... Oh, crazy. Hand might show up again. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. You haven't had that in, like... Over half of the characters already. Excuse me, already. I mean, if he's a he's not alluding to any, like a DLC boss, that'd be great. But that's not happening. No, no. <sighs> it, it's probably. I'd imagine it's just like a random character appears as like the, the like the second a second phase or something. Because like they they do that for some of them. Like I recently did. Um, what is it? It's, it wasn't being a... I think... Was it Dark Pit? I don't remember. It was one of them where... Uh, you, I had to, you had to fight like a Charizard or something. And then you fight a Master Hand. So I'm wondering if it's just something like that. It probably is. I appreciate that they at least made the classic modes uh, different for everyone. Makes it a lot less. Well, I mean, it's still <coughs> it, it's still grindy, but it's less uh, arduous, I guess, because it's not the same thing all the time. Bro. Not the biggest fan of rest, the race to the finish, though. I think that's a bit too generic. It's just smash 64's race to the finish. Yeah. Just realized the background looks like subspace. Yeah, a little bit. In the end, it, everything leads back to Brawl. <laughs> yeah. It's just a shame because I look back in like, um, race to the finish in Melee or even the ones in Smash Run and, uh, those just felt a lot more interesting and, and inspired, like, design-wise to me. I just hate having to do it with a busted Joy-Con, so I have to double-tap everything to make characters run. Mm. I, 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 I've, uh, I, I just kind of just, I just run into the black hole at this point. <laughs> I need it... coins. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I always thought... I enjoyed doing it for a little for a while, uh, but it's like when you had to do like nearly what like eighty something characters. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, it's just yeah, I'm kind of done. Oh, I don't th did I? Have, I don't think I ever asked this, like, I remember when we went on that, sm like, the Smash discussion for ages, um, when we talked about a lot of things. I wanted to ask at one point, but it was getting late, um, what, if they had to, if they, like, for the next game, or whatever, what major changes to, to the game, like, for, like, modes, or gameplay or whatever do you think they should do like any change any major changes to like specific modes or whatever uh whatever i i don't know actually um hmm. it would wh whatever i'd suggest would be and i'd have to be i'd have to get what am i trying to say i'd have to know what how many characters are in the game yeah. To see what they can do with their resources. If it's like another Smash Wii U size roster, then I don't know. Improve Smash Four and bring Smash Run into HD. Yeah. I feel like the next game is. I feel best case scenario it will be like Smash Smash Four, Smash Four su uh, size. But I feel realistically, if they're gonna try and cut 
the fat and like not not necessarily start over but like kind of rethink the roster i feel like we're probably gonna go back to the size of like brawl probably because um i feel like we're, we've come to a point where we they kind of need to change things up because uh they, they can only go so far like if they make another game there's no way they can make more characters than this unless they like kill themselves basically I don't and know. Not, like I'm just like there are probably internal discussions at Nintendo right now wondering if they should just port ultimate to the next system like, yeah Sakurai probably wouldn't want that but they may just bypass them on that yeah yeah because like Sakurai like doesn't like doing the going the easy way out um like he remodels ev everyone from scratch every every game uh but like the <laughs> ultimate makes this kind of a uh, kind of messy <laughs> so you can't really go anywhere but i f i feel like with the next game if they start over there's no way they can go but down in terms of size Dexit. Smash edition. Yeah. Oh, we all none of us are ready. We say we're ready, but we're not ready. No. I feel like it'll it'll feel really weird to have DLC veterans again though. Every fighting game does it. It's okay. It's okay. If we cry and moan about it. I suppose. Oh gosh. Oh, I was gonna say. Yeah, so I'm okay with lots of cuts if it's like your favorites but not mine. <laughs> I mean, yes, I play pretty like much. Mario, Luigi, Link, and Donkey Kong, so they're safe. Yeah, they're pretty much like never gonna go. It's... This is like it's easy, it's yeah, quote unquote easier to do to justify massive cuts in a story based series, uh, but this is a crossover series that's kind of built on characters. Hmm. Yes, yeah, really hard because it's like everyone, like every character is someone's main, uh, like. It, it, like if you like just cutting one one of them it's gonna make some people upset and it's just yeah how, how yeah, it's just yeah it's just difficult like what do you do i do feel like um i feel like they're on they were on the right track with ultimate but i feel like the single player stuff does would uh, benefit from some restructuring. Um, I think yeah, I, th I think Ultimate had the right idea with like how with uh, like how they handled it overall, but I think they still have some ways to go about it. But I like classic mode having unique state like unique uh, pathways or whatever for everyone. I I gotta be honest I kinda just want a subspace too <laughs> or like the equivalent our generation will this is just we're this is the subspace generation now. Yeah. It's like it made such a massive impact. It's hard not to think about it when thinking about Smash single player. If we just... I'd be a lot more upset if we didn't even have the... Excuse me. Hmm? It would be a lot worse. <laughs> it would be a lot worse if we didn't even have like just a general CG character trailers to kind of scratch the itch. Oh yeah, that's true. That that, that those were nice. Yeah, I like that they made the they made proper ones for the DLC this time. Two out of five. <laughs> Everyone else is just reusing assets. True. Joker got his own anime trailer. Yeah. Which I'd hope was cheaper than all the CG. 
<laughs> yeah. It was better than, like, pretty much anything the Smash, Smash 4 DLC guys got. Wouldn't be surprised if we're back to just gameplay, only trailers. <laughs> probably. Yeah, I feel... I feel like they probably... It would be nice. Maybe we'll get surprised, but they probably... They probably, like, uh, used the... used up their load, I, I suppose. We'll see. You enjoy your gameplay only Crash trailer. Oh, man. No. I mean, I'd be happy for Crash, but that'll be a bit of a bummer. It's always nice to see, like, um, the new trailers and seeing what kind of stuff they do. Yep. I don't know, is there anything else you want to talk about, or...? Come on, it's weird. <laughs> Pokemon is weird, yeah. We gotta catch them all, Pokemon. Only nine episodes in. <laughs> Only nine episodes. Dang. Never finishing this. When... Oh, God. This is like... um, This, this is how, how bad this is. It's, it's like... Uh, Clement starting his Sonic retrospective in like 2010. And... <laughs> So that took him 10 years. This is going to take us like 20. <laughs> Good lord. Ready for this. <laughs> how much you... How far do you think we'll be by the time we finish Love Life Sunshine? <laughs> We're finishing Love Life Sunshine? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a good joke. <laughs> We could watch one Pokemon episode a day, and it would still take us, like, more than three years. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of ridiculous. Gotta love those time zones. Yeah, speaking of time zones, I have tormented you, tormented you long enough. Yes. Hopefully we can get everyone around for, for actually doing Love Live at some point. Uh, cause uh, it's hard to find when Lois is around. Anyways. Night. Yeah. I actually recorded this this time. I came prepared. For, for Pete's sake. 